and welcome back to the spirited shop today we're gonna tackle CNC basics part two we're gonna be talking about using cam software to create tool paths and we'll be using some SVG files that we created previously so let's get into it I use Estel cam it is I'll, I'll put a link in the description it's one that I like and it's fairly inexpensive there are other cam softwares out there but since this is the one I have this is the one we'll be using so over here you have your tool list of the different kind of end mills and engraving bits that you can set up alright we're gonna create a new cam file we'll use the uh, mushroom SUVG from before will make it about 200 millimeters wide. Uh huh. So, once you've got your picture imported, your SVG file open, you can now decide what you want to do. If we want to part it off, that means cut this shape out in the wood. You click on part come over here and make sure you have the right end mill you want to use I'll use a quarter inch then I will come over here and tell it a depth of however depth deep you're cutting mine is 6.2 millimeters so I'll go a little over and use a spoil board and then uh, what that will do is cut out the shape in the red here but we also want to carve out some of these shapes too. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go hole and we'll make it a pocket and we're, but we're not going to go all the way through and so we'll make this like three millimeters deep and I'll do that for these others. Pocket and pocket. I'm also going to do the face as a pocket, three millimeters. So what I'll do for the eyes is cut them out separately and then glue them on. So what you do at this point is we want to create the G-code. So I'm going to open it and save CNC code and we'll call it mushroom.nc is fine and it goes through and it shows the tool pass and how many depths how many passes it'll take and it'll give you an approximate time at the method I have set there it's 50 minutes you can see there's a lot of overstepping here to smooth it out and that creates our our g-code that we can then import into the G-code sender and send it out to the CNC router. Let's go over one more example. We'll go file open. Let's try uh, how about this tree that we did. Now let's go with the text. I'm going to make the width a little bigger, 200. And here's that text. Now what I would like to do for text is carve. And select my biggest V bit. Tell it we want to carve the inside. And you would do this for each letter. And I'll actually carve these out. We'll save the CNC program. All right, text. And this says it'll take 11 minutes. Hit OK. 
and there we have it so what I'll do is I will run these programs and insert pictures of the results and with that this is the end of CNC basics part 2 cam software this was not meant to be an exhaustive look at everything that your cam software can do but just to get you started I hope you like this video if you do please like share subscribe and we'll catch you next time goodbye and God bless